In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to set up DMARC for your domain with Ionos in just five minutes. Let's dive right in. The first thing you need to do is navigate to the Ionos website. Once there, you'll be greeted with their homepage, showcasing a variety of services they offer. Your focus here is to look for the sign in button, typically located at the top right corner of the page. Clicking this button will start your journey towards enhancing your domain's email security. After clicking sign in, You'll be directed to the login page. Here you need to select customer account to proceed. This option is designed for Ionos customers looking to manage their accounts, including domain and email settings. Next, you'll be prompted again to click on the sign in button. This might seem a bit repetitive, but it's an important step to ensure you're navigating through the correct account type in Ionos's system. Now it's time to enter your credentials. You should start by typing in your email address associated with your Ionos account. This email is key as it's your unique identifier for all the services offered by Ionos, including domain management. After entering your email, click next to proceed. Um, you will then need to enter your password. Remember, keeping a strong unique password for your accounts is crucial for security, especially when it comes to protecting your domain and email services. Once you've successfully input your password, click on Next. Once more to access your Ionos dashboard, this dashboard is the control center for all your Ionos services. From here, you will navigate to the Domains and SSL section. This area is dedicated to managing your domain settings, including DNS configurations, SSL certificates, and more. Within the Domains and SSL section, you should find your domain listed. Next to your domain, there will be an option represented by three dots, often called the More Options menu. Click here to reveal additional settings and choose DNS to proceed. The DNS settings are crucial as they direct how your domain interacts with the internet, including how emails are sent and received. Now you'll be taken to a page with your DNS records. Here, click on Add Record to introduce a new DNS entry. Since we're setting up DMARC, you'll be focusing on the DNS records pertaining to email authentication. Upon clicking Add Record, you'll be presented with several DNS record types. Your goal here is to select the appropriate type for a DMARC policy. However, for the sake of simplicity in these instructions, let's assume you're navigating through general record types. Next, you'll need to input the host name for your DNS record. This usually involves specifying a subdomain or the at symbol for the root domain. The exact value will depend on the type of record you're adding, but since our focus is on DMARC, you typically use underscore DMARC as the host for DMARC records. After specifying the host, it's time to enter the address or value for your DNS record. For a DMARC policy, this involves entering a text string that defines the policy. It could look something like v equals sign dmark1, p equals sign none, rua equals sign mail2, dmark reports at your domain.com, but ensure to research or consult an expert on the best policy for your needs. Following the address, you'll choose the TTL or time to live for your record. TL determines how long servers cache your DNS record. A common default is 3,600 seconds or one hour but this can be adjusted based on how frequently you think the record might change. Finally, once all the necessary details are filled in, click on Save. To apply your new DNS record, this action commits your DNS changes to the IONA system, which will then propagate across the internet according to the TTL you've set. And there you have it. You've successfully navigated the process of adding a DNS record specifically geared towards setting up a DMARC policy for your domain with IONOS. Remember, DNS changes can take some time to propagate globally, so don't worry if you don't see immediate results. Securing your domain with DMARC is a proactive step towards preventing email spoofing and ensuring that only legitimate emails are sent from your domain. It's a crucial part of maintaining your domain's integrity and trustworthiness in the eyes of both email services and your recipients. I hope this guide has been helpful. Remember, each step might seem small, but together they form the foundation of your domain's email security posture. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials and tips on managing your online presence effectively.